everyone, today's video is going to be about DIY room decor and it's all about thrift flips. So here are going to be 5 things that you need to pick up from the thrift store that you can DIY today. They're going to be DIYs and some of them are going to be a little bit life hacky or some kind of way to repurpose items that you can pick up second hand. And I wanted to kind of turn this into a little series so let me know what you think about that. There's no intro today as I wasn't feeling very well but do let me know what you think and don't forget to subscribe, like and comment on this video and follow me on my social media. Anyway, let's get into the thrift flips. The first thing to look out for in thrift stores is plastic animals and dinosaurs. They can be made into a bunch of fun, different things. Today I'm going to show you how to make this planter, so I'm taking this plastic dinosaur and a tiny cactus plant from Poundland and I'm marking roughly how big the pot is on the dinosaur and then I'm going to use a craft knife and very carefully trace around this line which was much more difficult than I'm making it look so it's a little wobbly get someone to help you if you are obviously underage and then I am putting the cactus plant in the top of the dinosaur I took some spray paint and gave the dinosaur about four different coats of this it took a really long time to cover it and to dry and I also covered the pot and then I put it back in and this is what he looks like I'm so happy I also love how the cactus plant looks like more scales on his back I think it's really cool The next things to look out for in thrift stores are fun trays and plates so that you can turn them into floating shelves like this. I found this plate for 99p and all I am doing is cleaning it with an antibacterial wipe making sure it is perfectly clean all over. Then I'm taking some parachute cord and cutting two lengths of the cord and folding them in half. I then tied a knot where I folded them. This is how you will hang it to the ceiling or to the side of an object and the loop is where it's going to go through with a hook. So I'm laying that flat on the table and placing the plate face down on top of it upside down and then I'm taking all four strands and knotting them at the bottom with a little bit extra cord showing at the bottom just for effect. You don't have to do this if you don't want and then I'm trimming that to size and tipped it back around the right way and adjusted the string and hung it up on the ceiling and this is what it looks like. This is delicate so you don't want to put too many heavy items on it so maybe not too many cactus plants like me but it would make a really nice side table and I'm really pleased with the result. Glassware that you can find at the thrift store can be really fun to DIY too. So this was a small little plate, maybe an ashtray, I don't know, something like that. So I made sure to clean it once again with a wipe. Then I took loads of sprinkles and what are these called? Sequins. Sequins? Confetti? You know what I'm talking about, glitter. And I just chucked it all in the base. And then I am going to use some resin. This was from Poundland. And I poured the resin in. This you have to be careful with because it stinks and it's really disgustingly sticky and it's just not very nice. Be careful with it. I'm then flattening it out. It does kind of flatten itself out, but I wanted to go into those corners. Leave this to dry for 24 hours, then you can tip it upside down and use it as a coaster. And it gives this really cool 3D effect. This one's less of a DIY and more of a life hack, but this little toast rack or letter holder, it's one or the other, I'm not quite sure, I think it's for toast. <laughs> I found this in the thrift store and I just peeled the sticker off and cleaned it up and I'm using it to store my books. So you can find a ton of stuff in your local secondhand store and repurpose it and I love how this looks. It's so cute, I adore it. And finally, when you're in any secondhand store, make sure you look at any kind of fabric you see. This was actually a jumper and I turned it into a cushion cover. Unfortunately, it was a little bit tight on the arm, so I thought I would make it into something else. So I snipped off the top and I fit it to the size of this one pound Ikea pillow. And then I just sewed it on my sewing machine. You guys have seen me make pillows before. I'm just reiterating that you need to look everywhere for fabric. From t-shirts to skirts to tablecloths and curtains. You can find some really cool fabric and make them into pillows. I will leave a link to a DIY below where I've made pillows before in case you want to know. 
those are all the thrift flips that I have to show you guys today. Let me know what you think down below and don't forget to subscribe if you are new and I will see you in my next video. Thanks for watching. Bye.